Looking at Judy Richardson, you may not be able to tell she's a gun owner. I want to be assured that I will not lose my firearms and my safety and my protection. In the same room, Natasha McCain, a gun violence victim, wanting the firearms out of the city. It hangs me to have to stand up here again before you and to implore you that this is presumptive and premature. They're in the same room, but they couldn't be more different, both fighting for what they believe in when it comes to gun legislation. But a resolution presented by council members to protect Second Amendment rights was withdrawn after a nearly two-hour meeting. But regrettably, many misinterpreted the fact that our resolution said that we supported the Second Amendment, that it meant that we supported creating a sanctuary city here for Second Amendment rights. We don't support that. Causing supporters of gun rights to pack up and leave. These gun laws will not do anything to take guns out of the criminals' hands. All they're going to do is penalize a U.S. law-abiding citizen. However, members of the NAACP and those for gun control were happy to hear the resolution withdrawn. The NAACP has a history of showing up on the front lines. You know, on what's right. Councilwoman Eleanor Weston Brown says the decision was unanimous by all council members, even if some members of the public left unhappy. We want to respect the rule of law, and that's what we did today. And we're very proud that we crafted a uniquely Hampton um, solution. In Hampton, Aaron Miller, News 3.